Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm BT, and for today what I have here is a little tutorial how to get rid of Microsoft compatibility telemetry. So I just started the PC, it's 10am, so I started the PC to do some stuff with it, and as you can see it's still fulfilling the cache of the Superfetch, I'm using an HDD and Western Digital of 500 gigabytes and suddenly this process is here consuming the entire hard disk drive so this process this process don't only kick in when you start up the PC but either too when you for example install new software or a new video game in your computer whatever you change in your computer uninstalling or installing this process over here kicks in using a lot of hard disk drive, sometimes internet, sometimes CPU. So this process is well known, um, a legit uh, process from Microsoft that are used to collect data for them. So it's the famous process that, uh, let's say, steals data from the users to send to Microsoft. What people say that the, it's the Windows 10 um, spy process. So there are a couple of options on Windows, I know this is in Portuguese but I will translate on the settings menu and you can go to privacy and you have these uh, feedback and diagnosis where Microsoft claims that uh, uh, by default it came with a complete mode that sends snapshots of memory and stuff that if you reduce it to basic that this process is um, not so aggressive. But in the end of the day, I have set it to basic and it seems that nothing works. By now, the process just stops for a bit. But for example, if, I, if I'm going now and install a new game, let's say, let's install a CSGO or let's install an AutoCAD or a Adobe Photoshop, whatever I'm going to install, after that, that process kicks in and uses the entire hard disk drive for sometimes more than 10 minutes. So if you are a type of user that makes a lot of changes on the on your software, on your operating system, it's probably that you are getting tired of seeing your hard disk drive getting rammed uh, by that process, which is Microsoft trying to know what the hell are you doing with your PC. So I found this little software, which is ONO Shut Up 10, it's completely free, I don't usually like third-party um, third softwares, but in fact this one works and you are free to download it, you just start download, it downloads, it's very small, it's just 600 um, kbytes, so it's not even 1 megabyte, and you open the software with uh, admin rights and you can just start to reduce uh, or disabling stuff that is related to um, to the privacy settings of the windows it recommends you to do a restore point which i feel recommended to do it and as you can see you have a lot of options here that you can enable to disable telemetry which is the things that collect the data we have here a couple of settings marked with a green tick or a yellow rectangle or an exclamation uh, red exclamation mark that it's their way to say that okay we recommend this we not sure we recommend this and we clearly don't recommend this so one of the things that i recommend is to disable telemetry like you saw those uh, first options you can disable it for the privacy you can disable for example the handwriting data because yes even microsoft if you have a surface and you write on it with a pen microsoft collects entirely everything that you write so it's like a virus i usually don't have anything uh, against this type of collecting data but looking to all these menus is really scared they can know everything that you do on Windows and I like Windows 10 a lot but this privacy settings is is really the bad part of it because look at this they use everything well after you made all the stuff that you wanted to to disable or enable regarding the privacy I feel recommended to export the settings to some place that you know that will be there in my case it will be for the documents it's the default one and I think it's the, the better because every time the Windows updates there is a possibility that Microsoft with the latest updates uh, might revert all those changes so then it's easy just need to go to file imports and go go and get the file that you exported and you have all the settings again like you had you just need to apply so now it says here that 
um, things might change, everything, and so you restart the computer, and then game. These small steps after after the restart, you have the PC privacy settings exactly as you want. So finally, you can feel a little bit more safer if you if it was that the objective that you want. But one thing is for sure, Microsoft compatibility telemetry after these changes no longer will, will kick in in the system and use the entire hard disk drive unless the Windows update kicks in, which usually happens in the second Tuesday of every month. So uh, every second Tuesday of every month the Windows will try to play or the plate or in the next day for you, so it might happen uh, a little bit close on the second week of each month. And after you update, uh, I fully suggest you to get back to O and O shut up and confirm uh, if changes were made. So if Microsoft reverted anything, again, you just need to import um, the stuff, the file, and apply it again. So it's a little bit sad that Microsoft don't um, make these options available on their own settings, but of course it's their intention to, to collect all the data that they can whatever the reasons they, they have it, if it is to provide a better operating system in the future, or if it is like the tin foil ad guys that is for spying us and selling information on the black market, whatever the reasons you have to disable the privacy, performance, um, being fear of being spies or whatever, this software really solves the problem, at least for me, so I do hope that uh, it solves for you either. So if you have any doubt about the software, just leave a comment on the section below. The link for the software is on the description. And that's all. Hope you did enjoy the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.